right, so here we are. We're going to requeen a colony. Requeening is done in two stages. First, you have to remove the original queen. There's no point in introducing a queen unless you've actually removed a queen because they won't accept the new queen. So we've been in this colony a day ahead. We were here yesterday and we removed the queen that was in here. She was getting older. She's still doing okay, but we want we have new queens and we wanted to replace that queen. So we went through, found the queen, pinched her, and then we closed the hive back up again. It takes at least two hours before the bees start to sense their queenlessness, and if we introduce a queen too quickly, it lowers the chance that she will be accepted. Sometimes we introduce them on the same day if we're in an out yard or a distant location. I prefer to do it in a two-stage process like this. So, we have our new queen here. She's inside this cage area here, and she's surrounded by uh, attendant bees. So there are about five young worker bees that are in there with her and they're keeping her warm and they're feeding her and cleaning her and so on. At this end of the cage you can see a candy tube. So that candy is there for the, the, the worker bees to feed on but it also provides a slow release mechanism for the queen. If we were to just put this queen in and let her go the colony would kill the queen. So we don't want that to happen. If we put her in with the candy, it takes two or three days for the bees to chew through the candy and release the queen. In the meantime, she's grown into their smell. She's picked up their smell and they've become accustomed to her smell as well. So it allows this, allows this slow, gradual transition. Uh, we keep track of our queens using a, a tag and then we tack that tag on the front of the hive. So I'm going to go ahead and put that tag on the hive right now just to make sure we keep track of who's who. It's just held in place with a thumbtack right above the collie number that you can see here and that's how we're able to keep records of what we're uh, doing with our hives. So I'll just set the queen cage down for the moment then we'll open up the hive to install the queen. We use just a little bit of smoke to keep the bees nice and calm, but not too much. Pop a bit of smoke there. Lay the inner cover down at the entrance. And then again, we always take the second frame out first. So we'll pry that frame loose. Pry this one up. and lean that frame against the far corner. Now what we're looking for is a frame of brood. We want to introduce the queen next to a good solid frame of brood because we know the bees are going to be clustered there all day and all night keeping this brood warm. So there's a really nice frame of brood. Lots of capped pupa in this area here. We know bees will always stay in this area so if we put the queen there she'll get lots of attention and uh, will be taken care of. So we'll put that frame back into place and then we pick up the queen cage and we turn the screen down. We'll then move that next to the brood frame and just wiggle it back and forth a bit to get the worker bees out of the way and then we can gently push that into the comb. So it's, it's lodged into the surf surface of the comb there. And then what we do is move the next frame over and gradually wiggle that back and forth to get the bees out of the way. And we push it up against the cage so that, that there's no chance that the cage can fall down and be abandoned by the bees. So it's firmly wedged into place in there. And then we can just close the hive back up and reinstalling the frames. Putting them back in their original position. So 
we'll just get that frame in there gradually. Then we'll puff some smoke on top of the frames to get the bees out of the way so we're not crushing any with the inner cover. And then just gradually lay that down on top, giving the bees an opportunity to get out of the way. And close the lid up. I'm now going to make a note on the lid at the back of the hive with the date. May 10th, Queen introduced. That's going to make sure that I don't disturb this colony for a week. If we open up this hive in less than a week's time, we disturb the hive. The queen has recently emerged from that cage. Again, it takes two or three days for her to get out through that candy. And if we uh, interrupt the collie while they're gradually accepting that queen, they will turn on her and kill her. So it's important to leave the colony for a week before you come back to see if the queen is laying. At that point, all you're looking for is eggs inside the hive. You don't need to find the queen, but you look for eggs, and if there are eggs there, and then everything is normal, and you can close the hive up, and you know your queen introduction has been successful. If you're, the queen, if you don't find any eggs, you then may need to requeen the colony again. But in most cases, this this will work out, and you've got new young queen, good genetic material in the hive, and the hive can carry on and flourish. So that's uh, uh, the basics of queen introduction, and uh, I would encourage you to be buying locally produced queens and that are adapted to our environment and have been bred for disease resistance uh, and support the, your, your local queen breeders. Thanks very much. See you next time.